Some stakeholders in the sports sector in Adamo Estate have described as worrisome the non proprietization prioritization rather, of sports development in the state. Some of them spoke to PLOS TV Africa, saying the lack of a befitting sports complex and the continuous dilapidation of sporting equipment in the state will act as a setback to sports development. They say the increasing rate of crime in the state can be tackled if sports is given the desired attention by government. It's only in sports that you can correct some anomaly behaviors. Like what is happening around, if you pick them, you cancel them, you give them content against them, they understand you, take them to the field, what can you do? Do this, do this. By the time they get themselves exhausted, when they get back home, they will just look for food and whatever to do to sleep. The issue of youth causing problem all around the place will not find it. We have athletes, we have natural talents, but physical infrastructure we don't have. And in growing, you need all aspects of an item to be progressive. We don't have the facilities. I would advise that government would have to provide the proper facility, which is the stadium, from where to take off. What we used to see in the sports council, the facility we saw before now, was second to none in terms of uh, uh, quality, in terms of even the trainers. But what we have today, Ten years down the line, it's uh, nothing to write home. It's a nice, so it's a shame uh, to the sporting world. There must be a motivation. Motivation starts from the building, starts from your place of work. If you don't have the, 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 the good uh, facility, that's it, the office equipment, to work administratively first, I wonder what you do in, uh, in uh, the technical aspect.